So for four quarters, it says the shoulder blades are very long. So the shoulder, shoulder blades are from the withers to the point of shoulder here, um, are very long, well covered with muscle and are moderately laid back at about a 55 degree angle. The width between the shoulder blades, so that's from the top, Blades is adequate to allow enough flexibility to easily retrieve game. The upper arm bones are about equal to the length with shoulder blades. So the length of the shoulder blade should be the same as the upper arm. When you see her, this extra little ruff of coat makes it look kind of chunky and like she, like her shoulder blades maybe aren't great. So we need to take this down to make her look like she has a nice shoulder because the little even the little bit extra curls here and here make her front look not as good as it actually is it also shortens up the neck when you have it real fluffy here so this neck coat makes your shoulder look nice which fronts are a big deal and also you want to make a point to know where the point of shoulder is so hers is right here so, so this is the upper arm bone and the shoulder blade these need to be equal so if this is short we maybe start it up here as opposed to where it actually is so that it looks equal. So keep that in mind while you're trimming. So again, you wanna have them stacked. Um, if you move their head around, it'll change where everything is. So held where you're gonna want it for stacking. Because I'm whittling down, I'll be using my chunkers and this I go, I'll go with the lay of the coat. So I'm just worried about this kind of shoulder piece here. It's taking off a little bit at a time. This is also where you might want to have someone help hold your dog's head in place so that they're not moving around on you while you're trying to scissor. Um, you don't want to again take this too tight, um, but you can whittle this away. And then so upper arm, we want it to make it look so that this angle is equal. So we want her upper arm to be right there. So we'll take it to there and then tying into our top line and our withers so then most curlies have this little extra little pacha curls right here just lightly take it off so that it looks like an even coat of curls And some curlies get a little extra here, so you can take a little bit of that off too to show the muscling on the upper arm. So trimming this part to make it look free of throatiness, you can take the curls back a little bit here. You could even do this with a clipper. Um, if your dog has a thick head, you can take this shorter to make it look tighter. Um, and that goes for the throat area too. So this should be your farthest out point, the point of her chest here. So we're gonna take this down. You can go any direction with this. I use again my chunkers to take a little bit at a time. So I'm not going straight down to skin. Be aware of any throatiness. So if there are little jowly things, know where those are so you're not trimming into them. So taking this down, keeping a full coat of curls on it and leaving it up to that point so that this is shorter and it comes out to their chest. You can make it there if it's not there already on the dog by leaving a little bit of extra coat. Taking time to look at it, stay. Remembering you wanna keep your, your upper arm and your shoulder blade equal in length so don't take this down too far so you want to keep them looking the same length you do not want to do this while the dog is sitting um, it totally changes where the hair and the skin lay um, i've seen people do that and then when the dog stands up they have big holes so don't do this with the dog sitting It that says the neck should be slightly arched. She has a lot of coat on the back of her neck that isn't very tightly curled. So I wanna take it a little shorter just so that it'll maybe get a little bit of curl. But you wanna keep 
that arch in there. Um, behind the ear sometimes can get a little fluffy, so you can take that down. Um, this you definitely want to curl back in once you've trimmed it, because it'll kind of fuzz it up by trimming it. But you want this to be arched into the withers. Again, holding your dog stacked so you can see where they're gonna be in the ring. Okay, 